What do you can say about his face to face when he talked to Moshe? So, first of all, in order to answer here, we need to to, uh, to have the context of the of the of the word, and it is dangerous to take one one verse to take it out of context. First of all, I need to understand how does Elohim speak to man before I understand that. First of all, if I don't recognize that Elohim is not from this world, is not in this world, is not in the first world, is not in the second, is not in the third, is not in the fourth, is outside the creation. So it is impossible for any man, according to the word of Shaul, it's not my, in in First Timothy chapter six, he said that Elohim lives in a place that no man has ever seen mm-hmm. and no man can reach, because he lives in the light. It's outside the creation. So when he spoke, when it is written in the Torah that Elohim spoke to Moshe face to face, it means simply that he was very close to Elohim, to Moshe was came close spiritually close to Elohim. Mm-hmm. Like not the like, uh, unlike the other were earthly. Moshe was elevated spiritually. Mm-hmm. This is what is mean uh, face to face. It's not that he saw Elohim, he never saw Elohim. Because it is written that no man has ever seen Elohim and live. No man can ever see Elohim and live. It is written in the same chapter mm. of the Torah. So this is, if you understand that, how can he speak face to face when he doesn't see him? Moshe was elevated spiritually in, the, in Bereshit. In chapter 3, we see Adam and Chava were talking to Elohim, heard Elohim, but never saw Elohim. Form. No, secondly, no man can see Elohim. Yeah, this way. So they were they they were closer than we are today because we are in the in the lower world. Mm-mm, the world then, world. Yes, we are in the world of Azia, the world of action. Adam and Chava were in the world of Yesira. We are no more in the world of Yesira. Adam and Chava, in the moment they seen, left the world of Yesira, were thrown out and come in the world of Azia. This is the world we are living now, which is a temporary world, which lasts for 7,000 years. After that, the, the earth will be dissolved, and we will enter again in the world of Yesira, which is a higher world, which is called Gan Eden. So, Not the Berry? No, no, Azia. Yes, yes. They will be combined all together after that. They will be combined all together, but now it's a separation. But Jehovah himself, Jehovah himself, mm-hmm. look, they couldn't see, they couldn't see Elohim because he was in a higher world than the world of Chava and Elohim was speaking to them. They could not see him because he's in a higher world. No man has ever seen Elohim. You have to quote First Timothy chapter 6. No man has ever seen, no man. Mm-hmm. It's mean from Chava, from, from, from Adam, to Yeshua, no man has ever seen Elohim. If you don't accept that, you will be misled. Period. Mm, no one has seen No him. man, no man. Shaul said that. He knew Yeshua. Mm. He knew Yeshua. But about Yeshua? Okay, it's another topic. <laughs> yeah. 